Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I loved in the month of September, August, July, June because apparently I haven't done a favorites video in so long. So I have so many products that I want to talk to you guys about. I have discovered so many new products and I also have a lot of new makeup that I have to try. So I'm definitely going to do a first impressions kind of makeup tutorial soon on my channel because I want to try out so many new brushes, so many new makeup products and I want to share all of that with you. But for now, I'm going to talk about all of the products that I have been loving in the month of September, in the month of August because oh my god, I've definitely been obsessed with all of these products there are a lot of products here so I'm just gonna get started the first product I'm gonna talk about is this I'm sure this is not oh I'm holding it upside down I'm sure this is not a surprise for a lot of you because a lot of people seem to love this palette and for good reason because this palette is the bomb this is one of those palettes that you only need to just tap your brush in once and tap off the excess and then apply it onto your eyes. It is so pigmented, it is so beautiful. It's definitely one of those palettes that I've been constantly reaching out for. This is what it looks like for those of you that don't know. The color scheme on this palette is just so bang on. There are some beautiful light browns and transition shades over here. There's a stunning orange, some beautiful pinks, a dark brown, um, a slightly kind of reddish brown. Then it has shimmers. If you're looking to invest in an eyeshadow palette, I highly highly recommend this i cannot recommend this enough it is amazing i got mine from an instagram store i am going to leave the links on the screen so you can see the name of the page but they do sell authentic international makeup i am obsessed with this palette it doesn't even look like i've used this because all i do is i literally just take the brush like this boop and that's all so that's why it doesn't look like I've used it, but I definitely have. I don't recommend using the brush that comes with it. Although it's really nice, the brush that comes with it, it's definitely something that you can use for your eyeshadows. But I feel like the bristles on this brush are a little bit too hard for these soft eyeshadows because since the bristles are too hard, you will definitely pick up a lot of product and get a lot of fallout when you use a hard bristle brush. So make sure the brush that you use with these eyeshadows is super soft so you don't end up digging into the shadow. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because I'm sure you guys must have heard how amazing this palette is by so many different people. So yeah, that's going to be my first favorite of these few past months. I am obsessed with the pack mink lashes. I absolutely love them. I am wearing the style M76 right now on my eyes. I think they're really nice, especially for smoky eyes. There are some beautiful winged style as well. This one in M72 is one of my faves. I absolutely love it. Look at this one. This is also so beautiful. And this one, they only cost 295 rupees. They're mink lashes. They look beautiful. They just take any look from 0 to 100 real quick. And I feel like lashes just complete any makeup look. And these are definitely my current obsessions. I'm in love with them. They're super inexpensive. They look great. They're easily available on Amazon. And I think they come in about 7 or 8 styles. I have all of them. And you can definitely reuse them. Just be careful when you take them off. And pick the glue off of them. And then put them back in their packaging. That way you kind of um, take care of them. And make them last longer. And I've definitely reused them about three or four times and they only cost 295 rupees so i think they're a total total bargain nick sent me a whole bunch of makeup and i actually ended up really loving um the lip lingerie i definitely i'm late on the bandwagon but they've recently been launched on nika so you can definitely find these on nika now which is so exciting all the lip lingeries have been launched the four shades that i absolutely love are cabaret show which which looks like a really beautiful mauve pink kind of shade then i have bustier which is what i'm wearing on my lips right now it's a mauve gray um gray toned kind of mauve shade that is what that one looks like then this one is also really beautiful it's called seduction it's like a brownie terracotta nude and this one is also one of my faves this is called dusk to dawn this reminds me of kylie's dirty peach it's a little bit lighter than that this is a very 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 nude color i like to wear this on top of other darker shades of lipstick but yeah i've been reaching for all of them quite a lot i have about five or six or maybe more from this line but those are all darks and like really um brown tone nudes and really 
dark burgundies and kind of those dark shades. These are the nudes that I love. As you guys know, I absolutely love nude lipsticks because I like doing my eyes really bold. So I definitely end up wearing nude lipsticks a lot more than I wear kind of any sort of bold lipstick. So yeah, these are four of my faves from the range. This bronzer has replaced my Bahama Mama. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I was obsessed with the Balm's Bahama Mama. I still am. I think it is one of the most unique bronzers out there. I went to Inglot. Inglot has their whole range of sculpting powders and they have about 8 or 9 shades of bronzers. So I went to Inglot. I took my Bahama Mama. I wanted a dupe for it. And you guys, it is next to impossible to find a dupe for Bahama Mama. It is so unique. It is so beautiful. It has this it's really kind of yellow but grey but brown kind of undertone. It's perfect. But then I discovered Hula. I think I love Hula and Bahama Mama equally. I don't think I can pick which one I love more but I have been reaching out for Hula a little bit more. Only because Benefit Hula is a little bit more blendable than Bahama Mama. I love the undertone of Bahama Mama. I love the undertone of Hula as well. This is beautiful. It's like the perfect shade of bronzer that you can use to contour as well. And this one is so, so blendable. It is so creamy. It is so pigmented. It is amazing. I definitely love both of them equally. The only thing that I don't like about Hula is the packaging. Even though it's really nice if you drop it it probably won't break but the thing is but the thing is see that at the corners because whenever you're closing the lid sometimes the corner of the lid kind of gets inside and ruins the powder I hate that but you know the product is so amazing I'm definitely gonna continue to use it it's a product that's safe to take on vacation because if you drop it it's not gonna break so yeah that's my current favorite bronzer I don't know if you can actually see the swatch of that but it's just a perfect perfect shade of um, bronzer and even a contouring powder and it's so blendable I just love it so much Maybelline Age Rewind concealers also launched on Nykaa recently but I've had the one in light for a long time and as you can see I'm almost out of it this is pretty light for my skin tone so I got the shade medium and this seems to match my skin tone perfectly I think it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so I can use it for concealing as well as highlighting the shade light is super super light for me I definitely use this one for highlighting under my eyes I sometimes mix it in with a darker shade of concealer to make it suit my skin tone a little better but I think I'm gonna have both of these shades in my kit because I love using light when I want to really really highlight my under eye area and I love using medium on an everyday basis I have been reaching out for this one so much and this has replaced my Maybelline fit me for now I love my Maybelline Fit Me, don't get me wrong, it is one of my favourite drugstore concealers of all time but I think this comes to a very close second and and yeah I'm so happy this is finally available in India at a reasonable price I think it was around 550 or 525 or something like that I'm gonna have I'm gonna have all of these products linked down below so make sure you check them out if you want to purchase any of them but yeah, the medium Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Really, really nice. Gives kind of like a medium coverage. Does not look cakey. Great to wear on days when you don't want to wear foundation and you only want to wear concealer and you want a no makeup makeup kind of look. By the way, would you guys like to see a no makeup makeup look? I haven't done one in so long and I definitely don't wear this much makeup on an everyday basis. I just wear kind of simple everyday no makeup makeup look. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see that. I'll definitely create a no makeup makeup tutorial if this video gets enough thumbs ups. So yeah, that was the next product. I have really been loving the Anastasia Dip Drop Pomade in Soft Brown. I have been using the shade Chocolate since... I think about one and a half years now, maybe even more. I'm obsessed with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I don't use anything else for my eyebrows. Actually, I do use the Benefit Cabrow, but they're basically the same product. This one and Benefit Cabrow, they're so similar. They can be classified as basically the same product. But I've switched shades recently because my hair is a little lighter and my roots are a little lighter. So I think chocolate was a little bit too dark for me. So I got soft brown and it's just really, really nice. It's still a little bit dark for my eyebrows considering how light my hair is now. But I do go over my eyebrows with a light um, brown kind of shade to make them look even more perfect. And I have been using my sleek eyebrow kit in light, not in dark. Let me know if you guys would like to see an eyebrow routine. I know I've been promising an eyebrow routine for so long. But I am going to do one soon. If you guys would like to see it, do leave a comment down below whether you want to see an eyebrow routine or not. I'll definitely create a whole video dedicated to how I do my eyebrows because I don't really show my eyebrows in makeup tutorials. I feel like I never change up how to do my eyebrows. 
it's always the same eyebrows take me so long to do they are just so important so I spend a lot of time and a lot of effort in making my eyebrows look nice so if you want to see it do leave a comment down below and I will create a video on it by the way this product does get dry after like a month or two months but I always wet it back again with Inglot Duraline I always have Duraline ready whenever I want to kind of re-wet my gel liners my eyebrow pomades I always just drop a few drops of Duraline and it comes back to its normal consistency this foundation has made my life so much easier this is the cover FX cream foundation I think I did a first impressions on this if I did I'm gonna link it somewhere here you can go and click on this link right here and check it out but I do remember falling in love with it the first time I used it and ever since I discovered it I have been you it looks really dirty right now because I keep dipping my brush in it and swirling it on my face and going back in it and swirling it on my face probably not the most sanitary thing to do but that's what a cream foundation is for Sometimes I'll dip my beauty blender in when I want more coverage. It's just such a perfect, perfect kind of foundation. You can shear it down, wear it every day. Just take a big brush like a master stroke brush or a really fluffy kind of dense foundation brush. Pick up your foundation and spread it all over your face. You can spread it and make it look really nice and sheer and perfect and skin-like. Or you can just dip your sponge in it, get a lot of product on your sponge and apply it onto your face and get a really nice full coverage that still doesn't look cakey. This product is magic. I am in the shade N40. I also really, really love the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I used it in my recent bridal tutorial, which if you haven't watched, I'm going to link it here again. So make sure you check it out. It's a bridal makeup tutorial filled with tips and tricks. I haven't used many other foundations ever since I discovered this. I keep switching foundations, don't get me wrong, because I have so many. But this one is something that I keep going back to because I know when I want to look flawless and I know when I want my makeup to be perfect, when I want it to photograph well, I definitely use this because it looks nice under flash as well. The packaging looks like this. It does come with a sponge that, as you can see, I've never used because I like using my beauty blender and my own brush with it. So yeah, that is my foundation of choice at the moment. This is the eyeliner that I have been wearing recently. I posted a vlog recently and I was wearing my usual winged eyeliner. And so many of you guys left comments asking me which eyeliner it was. It looked matte, it looked really intense and dark. And trust me, if I'm committing to a black eyeliner, I want it to be in your face. I want it to be matte. I want it to be super jet black. Because if I'm wearing a black eyeliner, it might as well be super jet black. This is the one that I've been wearing constantly right now. This is the Sigma Lineace in the shade Legend. I do have a discount code with Sigma. Whenever you purchase anything on Sigma's website, you do get a 10% off. The code is ASH10. I'm going to mention the code right here so you can see. This eyeliner is so, 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 so amazing. I don't have enough good things to say about it. I don't know whether you can tell, but it is a brush tip. It is not a felt tip. And I think I prefer brush tips over felt tips. I can definitely use a felt tip and create a decent wing with it. But I think a brush tip just makes the job so much easier and more precise and smoother. I really, really enjoy this liner. It is so easy to use. It literally just takes me about 30 seconds to 40 seconds to do both my wings. And it looks really nice. It is matte. It is jet black. I love it so much. I know this video is going to be super long, but the last products I want to talk about are actually perfumes. This is Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. Can we just appreciate this bottle? It is, it's like a diamond. It's like a big diamond in my hand. It is so so pretty and this fragrance is just so so amazing oh my god it takes me to heaven it is really really strong it lasts all night i can definitely smell it on me i can definitely smell it on me the day after i wear it it is so super strong it is super long lasting i can smell it on myself i can smell it on my clothes this is a very very nighttime scent in the sense that it's super kind of rich and it's mature. It's definitely not for a teenage girl because it's kind of sexy and it's great for date night. If you're looking for a date night kind of scent, perfect. Look no further. I wear it during the day as well because I don't believe in what is nighttime and what is daytime. But if you want to categorize it, it is a nighttime scent because it's super rich and super strong as I said. You press this up here and the fragrance spritzes out and it's super fancy, I know. Hey, because I'm super fancy. I'm just kidding, I'm not fancy at all. I just love bougie perfumes. 
And the last product in my favorites is this one. This is by Bulgari. This is the Goldia in the Roman Night. I have had the Rose Rose. I have had the Rose Goldia before. It comes in a really nice pink kind of bottle. If you want to see my perfume collection, I have made a video on my entire perfume collection. These are new in my collection, but I have made a whole video on my existing perfumes. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be linked somewhere here. Go check it out. I'm sharing all of my perfumes that I currently own. But these are new in my collection. I have a few perfumes that are new. About three or four that are new in my collection. I will do an updated perfume collection once I have enough to make a video on. But yeah, this is the new scent in their Goldia range. And this is called the Roman Night. I have a backup of this as well, you guys. Because I love it so much. It is again a night scent. This one just... Oh my god, it smells so lovely and fruity and sexy and just perfect. Great for parties, great for date night. I definitely have a theme here because I personally prefer really rich, strong, feminine, sexy, fruity kind of fragrances. You guys, this is also super amazing. I actually cannot decide which one I like more. This one is a really recent addition to my collection. Bulgari recently sent it to me last week and I have been obsessed with it. And it kind of matches my choker right now. Actually, you know what? I want to spritz a little bit of this on me. Oh my god! I love how it smells! There is no vanilla in it. I definitely prefer scents that do not have vanilla even as a base because I personally don't prefer the vanilla dry down. I prefer it when it stays fruity and just more feminine. I know a lot of people prefer vanilla. I personally don't. Maybe that's the reason I love this so much. It's so sweet and just oh, so beautiful. So yeah, those were all of my favorites from the past few months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what products have you been loving because I absolutely love to discover new products and I love trying out new products. I love discovering amazing products and if you guys have been loving it for the whole month, then it's definitely a good product. So leave your suggestions in the description box? I was about to say description box. Leave your suggestion in the comments box down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of Instagram stories and also I post a lot of posts because that's what Instagram is for. I tell you when I'm filming, I tell you when I'm editing, I post outfit posts and fashion posts and all of that fun stuff. I have lots of giveaways on Instagram. So make sure you check out my Instagram. I'm gonna have all of the links in the description box below. I hope you've subscribed to my channel already. If you haven't, please take a moment to click that little red subscribe button down there. You can also click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I have a new video up. So you can be one of the first ones to watch my videos. Please share this video with your friends and family so we can all grow together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you super soon in my next one. Bye bye.